I've completely turned around from what my perspective was last year to where it is now. And I, I feel like there's so few individuals in a position like mine to be able to give their opinion and stand up and say that this is what family is about. And I feel that God is using me and using the choir and using my family to show off. Sean Rima, 9 till 11. News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071. Yeah, Kanye. You go, man. You be loving on Jesus. News Talk 950 KTSA now on FM 1071. It's the Sean Show. I'm Sean. Hi. How are you? What's going on? That was Kanye West. And, uh, you know, he's uh, TMZ is now reporting that he's been in contact with Joel Osteen. And uh, they're going to get together and do some stuff together at uh, the Lakewood. Is it Lakewood? The Lakewood Church. And... Uh, you know, I think it's great. What the hell's wrong with that? There's nothing. What the hell's wrong with that? Nice talk, Sean. Kanye's going for it, man. He's religious. He's uh, he's uh, embracing his Christianity. He's putting out a gospel album, and uh, I, I I don't know. I, I'm not very hip. I haven't followed Kanye West's career. I couldn't name one song the guy's done prior to this. Uh, I, you know, I know him as kind of the jerk who grabbed the microphone out of Taylor Swift's hand, uh, during the, uh, was it the Grammys or whatever the hell it was? I've always thought he was just kind of a jerk. Um, but I, you know, it, once he, and I'm not just saying this because, uh, you know, uh, I'm not just saying this because, you know, he went pro Trump and stuff, but for a guy in his position, who arguably has been at the top of the food chain of the entertainment world and the recording industry for a fairly long time, a fairly you know, decent amount of time at this point, has won some Grammys himself and is a fairly successful guy by anybody's standard, whether you, you like him or you don't like him. And for him to go in this direction, uh, both politically and religiously, there's a lot of people in his own industry that, you know, are not going to be digging the Kanye as a result, and it, it, it's not like he's got to stretch a dollar to make it, you know, or he's going to have to start eating, you know, banquet TV dinners. Uh, he, he's fine. I, I think he's going to be fine. <laughs> Whatever happens to his musical career, I just think it's cool. I, I, I really, really think it's cool that he's doing this, and he's doing this Sunday morning. I don't know how great a preacher he is. I don't know. But I tell you what, people are showing up to these Sunday morning things he's doing. And uh, I think that's great, man. In this day and age when, you know, we're coming up on Christmas, holy crap, the secularists are going to be out, you know, uh, trying to sue this town over this display. And the atheists will be putting up their crummy billboards and how stupid are you for believing in Jesus and all this stuff. Uh, you know, it's not a good time for Christians right now around the world. They're getting greased. There's a, a, a lot of uh, Christians who are getting wiped off the face of the earth uh, around the world. And here, for a lot of folks, it's a joke. It's a late-night monologue, something to be scorned. And so when you get a guy like Kanye West, who, you know, again, is, is not some little dude in, in the industry, he's a big damn deal, to go in this direction, again, I think that's great, man. Good for him. He's also out there saying, if you're black, you don't have to vote a certain way. <laughs> ooh, ooh, can't say that, Kanye. Calls it the political plantation, which I've been calling it for years. So rock out with your bad self. I think that's great, man. And I, I, I've even, and I said this earlier uh, on Ware and Rima, you know, or uh, maybe, the, you know, during the, the earlier today, Trey's off today. He's not feeling well. And so it's been me all day and, and running my mouth. And I've even come around to a guy like Joel Osteen, who I was never a big fan of, you know, honestly. And I, I the past few months, uh, and a lot of it has to do with just a lot of the stuff I'm dealing with in my personal life. Uh, I've, I watch a lot of religious stuff on TV, man. I, I've just gotten into that place. Uh, and some of it I agree with as far as their theology and some I don't. Some of these guys and, and women I'm just kind of watching and see how what their style is like and their style of preaching and stuff. And 
and I've kind of come around to Olstein because I think what put me off, and what puts me off about a lot of these mega church guys is that they're so stinking rich. And I got nothing against rich people. Uh, it's you know, I and, and I and I think it's more that I'm a small town church guy, and that I, I'm not really into the mega church thing. I'm not interested in mega churches. Even though I like the Hagee family, I, I've grown, I've gotten uh, developed a lot of respect for Matthew Hagee. I think is one of the most remarkable dudes on the planet as far as uh, his Christian Christianity and his seriousness about it. He's also got a beautiful singing voice. So I'll sit and watch Matthew Hagee and all these guys and Joel Osteen. I I've been I've watched more Joel Osteen on TV over the past few months than at any other time in my life, and his message is really pretty cool. The reason I like it, I've kind of come around to his message, is it's doable. It's realistic for the year 2019. He's saying things to you, and Kanye's kind of doing the same thing, in that, hey, th- this is uh, this is all this biblical stuff and how you apply it now, in your life now, in the year 2019 in the United States of America. Where some of these guys, you know, they're going back 2,000 years 3,000 years to burnt offerings and blood on the altar and all that stuff. And a lot of that arcane uh, lingo uh, from antiquity, it's really kind of hard sometimes to apply that to the modern era. And I think Christians need to be able to apply their Christianity to the modern era and how do I live my life in the here and now with this stuff. And so when Kanye and Joel Osteen start hooking up, I think that's great. I got no problem with that. I think it's cool. Uh, you know, honestly, so good on him, man. Uh, what do you think? Is Kanye full of crap? I don't, and again, I don't think he's full of crap because this doesn't help him necessarily. <laughs> it's kind of when people say, you know, well, the only reason Trump became president is so he could get richer. And it's like, no, he can't, it's really hard to get richer than that guy. He's not really, he, he doesn't, ha- he, in other words, Trump didn't need the presidency like Kanye didn't need to become a Jesus freak. All right. It doesn't really help either one of them in, in what their endeavors were prior uh, to this. And that's why I admire them both for doing it. Joel Osteen's always been this, but Kanye, you know, I, good on him, man. We need more, you know, big time celebrities and entertainers and artists uh, you know, uh, being honest about their Christianity, because right now the only people you hear about their faith are Christian artists, Christian bands, Kirk Cameron, <laughs> whose movies suck. It's kind of cool when somebody mainstream goes in that direction and does it boldly and without shame. And, you know, so my whole idea about Kanye West, I feel, I still think he's a little nuts. <laughs> but you know i just I, I think it's cool i do